Hello boys and girls and happy Monday. Today you're going to open up your Google form and you're going to find our brand new story for today. It's a short story. It's called The Curious Tale of the Kitten and the Puppy. Let's read it together. Miss Warby loved animals. She had always had an animal in her childhood home, whether it be a fish, a bird, a cat, or a dog. When Miss Warby moved into her own home, she decided to get a new pet of her very own. So on Saturday morning, she headed to the local pound to see if she could find a cute little puppy. The man at the front desk smiled warmly at Miss Warby as she walked in the door. He told her that he was so glad she had come in because he had the perfect pets for her. Oh no, she sa said Miss Warby. I only want one pet. You'll change your mind once you see them, the man said, leading her outside to where the animals were in the yard. They just came in yesterday. They were found together and we don't want to separate them. Miss Warabi saw the little white kitten and the energetic black and brown puppy. She had to admit they were adorable. They, started, they stared at her with their big eyes and she felt something shift in her heart. What do you think? asked the man. Miss Warabi laughed. I think you're right. I've changed my mind. A few days later, Miss Warby was able to take her new pets home. She called the kitten Thomas and the puppy Milo. She had purchased soft new beds for them. Unexpectedly, Thomas and Milo went straight to their respective beds and went to sleep. Mrs. Warby was thrilled. She was tired, so she climbed upstairs to retire for the night. The next morning, Miss Warby awoke to the sound of dishes clattering. She jumped out of bed, worried that her new pets were causing havoc in the kitchen. But as she descended the stairs, she smelled coffee and toast. What was going on? Mrs. Warby burst into the kitchen. Her jaw dropped at the sight. On the table was a cup of freshly brewed coffee, a pile of warm toast and all her favorite spreads. Thomas and Milo were sitting on the chair looking at her and there was no one else in the house. Now boys and girls that was an exciting and very interesting story but I need you to finish filling out your Google form. Please read all of your questions carefully and answer them and make sure that you send the Google form back to me. The very first question, what caused Miss Warby to head out on Saturday morning? Don't forget to restate your question. Question two, what made Miss Warby take two pets? Again, don't forget to restate your question. Use capitalization and the correct punctuation. Number three, why did Miss Warby's jaw drop? Mine would too, by the way. In your opinion, how did breakfast get made? All right, I'm not going to read all of them to you. I'm, I'm absolutely positive that you fifth graders can read your own questions and answer them. But I just wanted to remind you to restate capitalize where, wherever necessary, and use the correct punctuation. Have a wonderful afternoon, boys and girls, or morning.